is devs have you know finite time. Hex.com is being worked on. Auto router upstream changes for clients. That's that's the validator clients. Um, and then wallet connects being upgraded. And then single side staking. This seems to be the latest on it. Needs to wait. So it sounded like he was like, yeah, I, you know, don't like it for a few reasons. And we go through the reasons too. I've, I've got a few that I, I think uh, could play into that. And then, you know, he kind of elaborated it over a few tweets as well. And then uh, now it's like, well, you know, so much of the community wanted it. So maybe we'll get it. Uh, maybe we won't. Or at least it doesn't look like it's coming anytime soon, though, because other stuff's going on. However, I could say that and it could come out tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but, but I think the, the interesting part of the discussion would be like, why, why wouldn't it be part of the plan? You know, that we've, we've seen... Richard, uh, you know, I posted a vintage uh, clip of him today talking about it before people asked about it. And he's, he's never been, I've never seen him, maybe somebody will find a clip, but I haven't seen a clip of him being super excited or warm about it. I haven't seen him ever tweet about it. And he discussed that as well. So why is it? I guess that's the question that I would pose to like, why? I, I've got a couple of reasons and I've got a couple, I'll bring up uh, a dip catcher, Tenta Nomini's tweet, which I thought was interesting. Uh, I think he did like a little, um, translation here. Hello, everyone. It's had not to implement single side staking feature full stacks because the system will be stronger if we don't dilute the ink allocated liquidity providers by reporting a low risk activity. Th I think that's key when I think about it is and hex too. So, uh, you know, if you believe in the, the, the prophecy of liquidity bonding and having a strong liquidity pools and all the volume and all the stuff that is essential for pulse to succeed and, and Richard's, you know, wanting all that stuff having another activity um, that doesn't have any risk associated with it and would take away from the farms or take away from the LP and things like that would, that would, you know, you would you would think you would maybe optimize away from that and hex as well. So hex is, hex is the low risk activity we have right now to earn yield, lock, lock stuff up, you know, uh, outside of the opportunity cost. That is the low risk activity we have everything else. Pulse chain validating. You gotta, you know, watch the validators. You gotta make sure that's set up correctly. Uh, if you don't, you know, you lose pulse. The farms, of course, and permanent loss, the risk with that, prices up and down, all that. But HEX is the premier uh, low-risk activity. And then single-size staking, you know, maybe he thought it would cannibalize it. Maybe, you know, he didn't want to take away from that. We saw him shut down some of the HEX farms earlier on, too, when people were merging and staking the eHex. All that stuff happened as well. So I think it's just the reason he doesn't, I'm not saying single-size staking is going to come back at some point. It sounds like it's at least back on the, the list, if there was a list. But I think the reason he's not high on it is because he's trying to see and, you know, cultivate, curate the ecosystem in a way that doesn't hurt Hex, doesn't hurt the thing we all love. And, you know, start, you know, all starts with Hex, I, I believe, too. And um, he wants there to be some skin in the game, not a low risk activity that's just going to be people putting in coins and uh, taking away from the other things that are uh, part of the vision of the ecosystem, such as the LP plays and, and uh, liquidity bonding stuff. So that's that's what I I've synthesized through it so far this morning, the last few hours, but I'd be interested to see what, what uh, you all have takes on it. In a, in a perfect world, what would you like to see happen, given all the research you put in? Oh, hmm. I'm not. So, like, would I like to see single side staking, for example? Like, if you uh, had a magic wand and we're like, boom, here's, here's what is best for us. What, what would you like to see happen? I kind of agree with it being deprioritized of anything. I, I mean, it makes sense because um, hex is, I, I like hex being the low risk activity. I like there being uh, the other options are risky. So it kind of like motivates people to think about hex even and, and, and never forget it. And maybe that's the point too. Um, so I'm kind of, I don't know. I think a lot of people, it's, it's, I think I think differently than a lot of people in the community. Many people love single size staking. The reason they, they, they put that as part of the tokenomics, they made a sacrifice for that. They, they kind of factored that in whether it was talked about or not. And uh, they want to put their uh, money in a place that can earn uh, another token or whatever risk-free. I, I just think that takes, you can make a case. I can make a case on both sides, but I think that definitely uh, would take away from Hex and for better or for worse. A lot of people don't care about Hex and that's their own deal too. Um, but I think you got to balance the community wanting a feature so much and how much that affects the ecosystem with uh, you know not cannibalizing the other products, I guess, too. And that's why he's thinking about it. I, I tend to agree with him overall, but uh, I know a lot of people want single side staking. And they're not happy about not having it or risk of not having it today, which is maybe why Richard uh, uh, changed his mind a few times uh, this morning. The way you phrase that is is really high level. You're looking at the output and that that it has on hex 
versus Pulse X and not wanting to split away from his original product, I will tell you, I have received a flood of DMs and, and messages on multiple platforms. Let, did you see Richard Hart's tweet? He's rugging single-sided staking. What's he going to do? And they're freaking out. I will tell y'all the reason everyone's freaking out is because if you looked at testnet and you're thinking bullish on pulse X single-sided staking was very bullish for the price of pulse X on testnet. So with the chart rugging so hard from sack price and it, a lot of people becoming bearish, there's whales that have dumped. There's people running away. There's people turning on Richard Hart, talking crap. And there's people who used to be proud hexagons and pulsicans flooding our entire ecosystem. Me personally, I it doesn't bother me. I've, I'm a ride or die in the seeker system. I'm never faded by the FUD. I believe in where I am. I'm not stressed on any of that. But I come from legacy. So like this bear we're in with crypto, this is honestly, this mm. is nothing, y'all. I had to wait multiple years for something to turn around that was so hard, such a big loss in legacy. And that's normal. It's just more normal mm. when you come from legacy. But in crypto, it happens a lot faster. So when you're down, people are freaking out. I am not faded by the FUD. I know I'm in the right place. But a I, lot of I, people I, here... They want that Pulse X to crush it right away. They want the single-sided staking. They want to see those gains. So they all wrote me freaking out. What do you think about the price performance if there is no single-sided staking? I think the criticism, I mean, I'll, I'll pivot into that too, but I think the criticism is right for, hey, what, what is the purpose of Pulse X if there's no single-sided staking? What is the purpose of that? And that, that's a question that's kind of like, well, if you're either on the magic carpet ride with Richard or you're not. Like you're either... You either believe, you know, he's got some other tricks up his sleeve or he's got other plans or he doesn't make loser tokens or you don't. So, um, I mean, that, that part is just kind of like the, 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 I guess, the true believer part. Like, are you here for six months or, or, or five years or 15 years and all that stuff too? Have you, did you just get here? Did you never watch any of the streams? All that stuff plays into it. But as far <laughs> as the price goes, it's like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I think the ratios are kind of following each other. It's, it's what is it? Three to one, 2.5 to one. A lot of people predicted that before even launched. So I don't see them. I don't know. Will it deviate more since if, if people lose faith that single-sided staking is it coming? But now Richard just tweeted about that it's not totally off the list. So does that give people enough hope? I don't know. I, I don't really think about the price right now. I, I don't I don't look at the price every day. So for me, it's like I know when the bull comes, I, I think things will go. I think things will do well. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's, it's one of those things I try to, I want to immerse myself more in, into that, even though I'm kind of like, I don't get it a lot of times. I don't get the panic. I don't get the, the, uh, I need to have a use case right now for this thing, even though guy has successful track record, genius billionaire of founding products that do well. I yeah. kind of just believe in the first part. And I, I don't, I think, I you know, what's that. what there's so much emotion around this. And what I think that people are failing to see is that even if there were to be single sided staking of pulled sex, the, the yield would be extremely low because there's no risk. So you're not really losing that much in terms of income, in terms of like earnings, right? Like, and, and that's one thing. And then two is that if you think about the whole philosophy about everything is exchange, right? So when you put up liquidity, you get, a, you get, you could, especially if it's in a farm, then you get the ink token in return because of the risk of a permanent loss, right? And so like you're, you, it costs you something. Even when you lock up your hex, it costs you something because you cannot take it out. If the price were to moon, you can't take it out because the penalty would be so steep. So it costs you the opportunity and it costs you time. But Pulse X, what does it cost you? Because you can, you could lock it up arguably for as long or as short as you want. There's no penalties and it doesn't, cause there's no risk. So I don't really see what like, so if there were to be a yield, I would think that it would be extremely low. And I don't understand why you would earn a yield because what are you giving up? Really nothing. So I don't, I don't think that really contributes much to the system because it doesn't contribute to the system. So I, I, I agree. I understand what Richard is saying, but I also understand why people are upset because it's something that was promised. They were excited about it and now it's being taken away. But personally, I'm way more upset about the rugging of the um, hex, E hex, P hex farm. That was a bummer because that was earning a lot of yield. And it was, you know, I really loved having that. And I put, 
like a good amount in that system. And then, you know, then that got rubbed. That that really bugs me. I understand why I pulled it, but people are so bent out of shape about this. It's crazy. The que question now to it, is it going to come back? Oh, I think our D3 is on mute. Yeah, there we go. It's the bear market. Everyone's upset about it, just about everything in a bear market. <laughs> you name it. You can give them some good news and they'll be pissed off about it. Yeah. It's amazing to me whenever you look at Twitter, even people taking like any and all news is really personal. You know, they're getting deeply offended <laughs> by it. And Twitter is a venting machine, not even like it's, you're like, eh. it's, I'm the same. I, and honestly, uh, Max, when, when you, everything you said there, I, I kind of agree with you. And, 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 uh, Stylist agreed with everything you said too. I think sometimes it's a, like everything else is a double edged sword about how vertically integrated we want to be and then how much each of these platforms stand on their own two feet. It's a balancing act, right? Because I think that without focusing on each project individually and looking to really maximize the unique selling points of each, it's not going to be as ultimately successful as if we treat it kind of as a, as a whole ecosystem. And I get the thought behind it. I mean, we don't want to kind of, you know, Hex is amazing. <laughs> And so, you know, I think that's still one of the the quote unquote easiest folks, uh, easiest projects to get people, you know, interested in because of all the selling points there. And I think that while Paul Sex does have, you know, the buy and burn and all of that stuff, that hopefully we start seeing a lot more impact when uh, we see a lot more volume coming in. It still would have been nice <laughs> to, to get that, you know, even if we ultimately know that it wouldn't have been the best staking option ever because of, you know, the, the risk involved and. People just need that risk-free environment to make them feel good, right? They want to, they want, they want to, they want to put their 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 value away in a place that is ultimately, you know, yielding something. So I, I get why people are pissed off, um, and it, it was a bit of a a shock move right on the heels of you know the the, the rest of the stuff. And so I get it, but ultimately I think it's going to happen anyway. To be quite honest with you, you know, I think that down the road we'll get it. You know, even if it's you know third party operations that are taking place platforms that we can kind of continue to, to yield on 